It's beginning. Yeah, it's squishy. So today's the day. We're digging a basement. Let's get this done. Been waiting on this uh, for about three years to get started. So you guys have known that Kayla and I were going to build a house. Are the ones that have been on the channel for a while, for a couple years. We've been wanting to build this house for about six years. So big day for us. Now my builder, he was actually pretty early. Supposed to be here at eight. Called me at seven fifteen. Asked where the excavator keys were. Better than being late, but we were not quite ready yet. We just weren't here, and we didn't have the excavator back here yet. The uh, guys that are building the house, they're using our excavator, but they kind of wanted to dig the hole, which I think that's really eating Dad a little bit. He really enjoys doing dirt work, but we are going to do a lot of dozing and stuff. We're pushing all the dirt off the site and all that good stuff, but they basically talk like with the site prep. It'd be quicker and easier with them working together all the time and stuff if they just dug the hole. scooping the topsoil over to the side that way we can save it and then the, the dirt in the bottom of the basement or after the you know first foot or so we're just going to push into this hole over here so if you missed the video oh what was that two weeks ago or so where we came over here and staked everything out with ray made a decision on exactly where the house is going to be we decided to move it back from where it was originally going to be about 100 feet this old road bed right here we're going to fill that in and this is all going to be the same grade across here this road is cut out of this uh this little embankment here i think it was like a railroad cut but we're going to push this dirt over here fill this in uh, give us a nice even approach into our garage nice beautiful front yard it'll be good but now we gotta fill that in which shouldn't be no problem uh, we won't have quite enough dirt out of that basement but we'll have quite a bit We are going to go get some gravel. Not much I can do here at the moment. Dad's gonna play in the bulldozer. I figured he'd claim that job. And uh, the guys are digging, so we need some gravel to backfill around the basement once we get uh, the footers and the walls and everything done. Won't need that today, but I wanna get that hauled while I'm here. That way they're not waiting on me when I'm not here. disappear somewhere. Time to doze. 
Dad is moving the dirt with the JCB. Ray is in the basement with the es or with the skid steer. And his uh, his son is uh, running the excavator. So, in the four of us, we should knock this basement out. Finish knocking it out before the end of the day. It's about three o'clock. They're wanting to quit around four thirty. So, see if we can get that done. Excavator. He dug a he dug a straight line on the back wall first. Dug a little bit on this side. Dug a little bit on that side. Kind of went out on that peninsula. And it's just gradually been working his way back. And uh, now we got the skid steer down in the basement. He is smoothing out the floor. He's going around with the uh, uh, the, the laser uh, transit, getting great every now and again, making sure everything's pretty level. It's just about uh, just about got her now. Should be able to wrap up the digging part today, I think. That's the, that's the plan anyways. Dad's playing in the JCB, getting it on the action. It is making it a little bit nicer to pull that dirt, throw it over here. The problem with uh, using the dozer to get back in there, now there's not enough room for the dozer to back up behind that dirt pile. It's just quicker this way, less chance of someone getting hit, tighter quarters and whatnot. JCB's got a pretty big bucket, so he can, he can throw a good bit of dirt at a time. Oh, I see Mrs. Brown. This will be her first time seeing the, the progress. So this year, she recently started student teaching. She's finishing up her teaching degree this spring. So she hasn't uh, she hasn't been over since we started digging. Maybe now she finally believes that I'm not trying to stall this house. I think for a while, she thought I didn't really want to build a house. Hey, Dax, let me show you our basement. How did this get down there. They made a ramp. You can play on those piles of dirt, but don't play down there, okay? Okay. Don't get filthy. So do you believe now that it's really going to happen? It's either going to happen or camping is going to have a big pool. More like a pond. pond. But I suppose we could put a line around. We even got a nice set of steps. Yeah, it looks like it's just me now. All right, we got a lot more dirt to move. But I think I'm going to eat hop in the uh, loader for a little bit anyways. Pull that dirt away from the hole. Can't really get in behind it with the dozer without the risk of caving in the basement walls. Don't want to do that. That would be absolutely worst case scenario. So we'll just hop in the JCB and push some of that out. It's definitely a little high still right here. Been trying to cut that down little by little, but so I need to take a lot more out of it right there. So then we fall this way, which is okay. That'll get filled in a little bit more. I want to start pushing some dirt that way. This dirt from the basement isn't going to be enough to do what I want out here in front, but it's it went a lot further than I thought it would. We probably need, I don't know. We're almost good on that side. I just want to slope that out that way. Now over here, we need a good bit more. There's no concrete pad there. Probably going to yank it out of there. It's, it's cracked. It's in the wrong spot for like, if I ever wanted to put a building or something. And it might end up in the bottom there. It looks like Mrs. Brown's back with the kiddos. Can but, I find these? Yeah, let's just walk around a little bit. So what do you think of the basement? It's humongous. It's humongous. It ain't even done yet. So all this dirt right here will come out. This is just what we got to, where we got to. I guess we are going to quit for that. I didn't realize Mrs. Brown had dinner plans. So today is Friday. No one's coming over Saturday. So Saturday, tomorrow, I'll probably come back over here and move this pile of dirt. And then uh, I think we're going to finish digging the basement on Monday. Yeah. Like Mrs. Brown said, we either got a, uh, a house in the way or we have a uh, really expensive pond. You ready to go get some dinner? Yeah, let's go. How's that going for you? Not very really good. Uh, all right, let's but go. I could. So this is the next day, come back over here to move this dirt. Like I said, the builders aren't here. Dad's doing some other stuff. We're just gonna move that pile of dirt. No one else is gonna be here till Monday. I had to drive the rock store down in the basement because that'll, that'll never happen again. Now, multiple people asked on Instagram when I posted a picture of the house if this was our walkout basement or if we were gonna have like a storm door or something like that here. We're not. That's just a way for the skid steer to get down there, a way for the guys when they're doing the forms and uh, the footers 
to get down there so there is not going to be a basement access we are putting in a extra big basement set of basement stairs they're gonna be four foot wide and we got a pretty good approach into those basement stairs so I don't I think it'll be okay I'll probably hate it later but that's what we're going with now we're gonna use this to move that dirt just because well I haven't got to play in the JCB much What I mean by that is if you've never ran a bulldozer, it takes a while to be able to make a bulldozer go across the ground smooth. Otherwise, when you don't, when you're still pretty new at it, you get a lot of washboarding. I mean, I don't have a ton of hours in a dozer, maybe probably less than 100. So any chance I get to, to, to work on that, try to perfect that a little bit, I'm gonna take it. Well, that's gonna have to do for now. So folks, this is the first video of many that are gonna be on this house build. As you can see, we are literally at the first uh, first steps, the ground level, if you will. So Monday we'll be over here finishing, digging this basement. We will be uh, preparing for concrete footers. And then in a few days after that, after they get the footer done, we will be putting in drains, we will be putting in ICF. We're doing an ICF basement for the walls. So lots of, lots of interesting stuff. But that's gonna be it for this video, folks, if you would, do me a favor and thumbs up the video. Leave us a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And we will see you in the next one.